All right, so I thought I would decide to break down this typography and how I did it. Really enjoy making this typography. This typography that I have here, I use a different method that I want to teach you how to do right now. And it's, it revolves two transform nodes, actually more like a, a couple of transform nodes, but uh, don't get too nervous or let's get started. Let's just break this down real quick. First, we have a background, which is our plate. It's going to be 2000 by 2000. So I just have extra room to do whatever I want because I'm going to place all the text like this so I can see what it looks like. Right here, we just put a fast noise on top of everything just to make it give it some texture in the background. And then we start layering our text. So if we go to the end, we can see all of our text. If you look at all our merges, this is all the text that, are, that is here. For some reason, I started from the bottom and then went up. That doesn't really matter. You see here, we have our text animation and it's placed somewhere over here. I just have a bunch of transforms putting it in the correct position that I want it to be in. And then uh, same thing for the rest of the text. And then you have the animations done either on the text node or on the transform node that's over here. So that's why I have that like that. And then you can see you can see the words are just popping up in different places on the screen with different animations. And that is how I have that set up. And then we have uh, even more text. I think this is the birthday text. Yeah, there we go. And then this last text is oh this one right here. That one's going to slide over there. And so you can see everything that's going to go on. And then next I put a sock glow on that just my reference is it'll glow on top of everything. And now we have the movement. And here using these two nodes over here, I use them and I switch between each movement in order to make smooth camera movement between our text. So here we have we start off, go down with the first node, which is 19. You can see that the graph is right here. We are moving our path downwards to this text over here and before we reach this keyframe i have a another keyframe that another graph that starts over here let's just change this color so we could uh know which one's which this is going to be 20. we have this graph that is here that is starting before this keyframe ends and so in order we have two movements happening at the same time that gives you kind of this smooth movement and then that we go to the next move that's our focus here we do that and then it moves to the next one and then using that graph and then i do another one where I go back to that transform 19 and then I keep in the movement again. And so I'm just switching between these two nodes in order to go between each of these texts right here. And so we just have this movement that goes like that. And then everything is also centered at the same time. So if we took put up a graph, you can see everything is centered. And then at the beginning, I have a zoom that's over here. And I usually put the zooms last because all the zooms need to be zooming into the middle of the screen. And if we put them behind all this movement, it's going to be somewhere weird over there. You can see the, te the middle of the screen over here is right over here. We don't want that. So having it here it will work. And then I have another one uh, zoom out, I believe, with this transform here. And then this one zooms out. And then I have a crop node, which takes our 2000 by 2000 canvas and brings it down to 1920 by 1080. If you look at the crop node, the keep centered is on. And so everything is centered in our screen. And I have a fisheye warp. So we have something like this. And this is a node I made, but it's really simple. All you have to do is add a displace node, add a displace node, and then put a background and change this type to gradient. Let's look at, really look at this. Put this gradient type to radial and then move this to the center and then you could put this to the green part which is the foreground and then the yellow part and then you could change the refraction strength and that'll give you your look of a uh, fisheye warp i just did that and i have that keyframed a little bit but most of the part it's giving that zoomed out where the, the edges are curved in and that kind of gives you this weird perspective that just makes it I don't know, it just feels good when you, or it just looks good. I have a background here, let's make it black. So we have some here, and then I have a gradient map, which I have a tutorial on if you wanna know how to make it. That basically allows me to put certain colors on different luminous levels of the things I see in my image. For example, see the brightness, brightest part of our image is white. And so everything that's white is gonna be white. And then we have things, it's gonna be tinted blue, and then it goes down to it's uh, black over here. So now we have something like this. Yeah, that is the basic breakdown. I'll show you. I'll do an example of how to animate the text with the transform. So let's add so two transforms over here. We have 21 and 22. Let's connect those and then let's connect our text that's over here. And so what we need to do, we need to know where it's synced. I thank God I have all these markers of where the we need to sync it out. So this is going to be the first part, swear. So we don't need to move anything there. But yeah, we need to move to the next one that's going to be happening, which is going to be uh, this text that is over here, never. So let's do that. So in order to do that, I don't keyframe on the point that we need to go to. I keyframe about like three frames back from the sync point. Go from one, two, three. Let's click our center. And then we could go to the where we want the camera to be positioned. will be 
right here we want everything to be centered in the middle of the screen let's actually view this and then there we go now we only have our graph like this make sure we move it to the right place at the beginning point we need to bring that this all the way over here oh now we have our text in the middle just about in the middle and have our text go down to this part that's over here now we have movement and it goes there but it's a little too early so let's i like this spline graph let's adjust our graph so it's like this and this is going to be an s graph like that actually this is the wrong point we need to sync this over here my bad so there we go now we have sync to here and then it's going to be centered on this point right so we need to this here and now it's centered and now we have swear never and now that is there and now we need to transform to the next point which is going to be gonna and so what we need to do is click this transform two let's go three frames back one two three let's hold our center and then let's go to the next point there's a keyframe that's over there and let's move our center point over here so our text is going to be in the center actually i kind of go off to the side so when it's moving it can go overshoot and it's correcting both the other movement i have that and then let's highlight these keyframes and let's do another s graph again to make sure our vertical point of our s graph is right where the marker is just like that and now we have our movement just like this and let's just move this a little bit more down like that and so now It'll go more center and then it'll overshoot and then correct and then go to the next one. At Gunna, we highlight it a little now. There we go. We got Gunna and then our next one is going to be on our Transform 21. So we're just, we need to keyframe three frames back from this. So one, two, three, keyframe, go all the way to the end where this keyframe is and then let's move our text to the middle right here. Even overshoot it a tad bit there and then we have this and then let's bring this up again and make our s graph and that's just this is this repeated process over and over that s graph switch to the next node you know that it here and so we need to go click here let's get three frames back keyframe go to the end move our center point uh, over here make sure it's in the middle that and then smooth everything out the me and then next one we're going to go to the next point so we go here a me and we need to hit this one that's over here so go one two three go next point which is the end and we will move our point again like that we kind of want this one centered because it's gonna be the last one and then move everything over like this and now we have that and that's that's pretty smooth let's do the zooms so let's add a transform node and we have one one at the beginning so from here and I do something like that and then zoom in control a let's smooth this one out like this like that Actually, we can make this longer because it's gonna be a little bit all right and then make this looser and then we can make another zoom out with the tra same transform or I just did it another one this and then one two three four bring it and then zoom out again s and yeah now if we put the crop on this view it they keep centered and then let's change this we already have 1920 by 1080 that's good and then we can actually just zoom in because it's a little too far out maybe something like that yeah that looks pretty good to me yeah that is how i did my typography in this edit